Hi there, Smart Driver. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about differentials. This video on differentials is both for passenger vehicles and for commercial vehicles. I had a comment from David Lefhet, and he had a big truck and left the differential lock on while driving at highway speeds, which is often not recommended. But he wanted to know if leaving the differential lock on and driving at highway speeds would cause damage to the unit because at the end of the day, when he did his post trip down there in Arizona, he discovered that some of the hub bolt nuts were broken off and basically at the inside of the tire there's a hub in the center that's filled with oil to lubricate the bearings on the big truck and it's got bolts on it and some of those bolts were broken off and he wanted to know if that was caused by him leaving the differential lock on and driving the vehicle at highway speeds because it's not recommended that you drive these vehicles at highway speeds when you have the diff lock on and it's unlikely that that damage was caused because he left the differential lock on. So what we're going to do today, we're going to give you a bit more information about differentials, what they do and how the differential lock works on big trucks. And as I said, the differential is usually the rear axle and it's the axle that provides power to the unit and moves it forward, whether it's a passenger vehicle, if it's rear wheel drive, or it's a big truck or a bus. So we're going to give you a little bit more information about differentials, talk to you about that. Stick around, we'll be right back with that information. Hi there, Smart Drivers, welcome back. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about differentials, the rear axle of vehicles that are rear wheel drive. And in this day and age, most of the vehicles, passenger vehicles are gonna be front wheel drive, so they're not gonna have a differential. However, if you have one of the old muscle cars, a Dodge Charger, a Ford Galaxy, those types of things, you're gonna have rear wheel drive and the vehicle will have a differential. A differential, the root word of differential is difference and you have difference or different speeds of the two tires on the rear axle and the reason that you have different speeds is because when you go around a corner it is required that the outside wheel go faster than the inside wheel. Think of it like a compass when you're drawing a circle on a paper. The outside of the compass holds the pencil and goes around the inside point which holds it steady that's what happens when you drive a car around a corner this inside wheel is fixed and goes at a much slower speed than the outside wheel because the outside wheel goes around the outside of the circle and has to go faster therefore the rear tires on the vehicle have to be able to turn at different speeds thus you have a differential and inside here you have worm gears and spider gears and all kinds of other things and if you look around here on youtube and you want the exact engineering of what goes on inside of the differential you can find that information here on youtube but i'm not going to go over that all you need to know is that the two wheels on the back of the vehicle that's rear wheel drive have to be able to turn at different speeds in order for the vehicle to go around corners and whatnot now because you have a differential and you have gears in here that will allow one wheel to sort of free play and the other wheel to go faster what happens is, is when you get stuck oftentimes the differential will direct power out to the wheel with the least resistance so therefore you're going to get one wheel that spins and there's not a video on differentials here on the channel and I show you that on a big truck if you get one wheel elevated in a mud puddle and whatnot it'll just sit there and spin because the differential directs power out to the wheel with the least resistance so on cars and those types of things especially when they <laughs> want to get more power and get off the line faster they have something called posi traction which essentially locks up the back end and it takes off the line because both wheels are turning at the same speed so essentially what they do is they lock out the differential now on big trucks some buses but not so much more so on big trucks they have what's called a differential lock and on the back of a big truck if you extend this out usually what you've got is two axles and you'll have a set of tandem axles here and you'll have a diff on both axles and essentially what you have on most trucks it's uncommon that you'll have a diff lock on both of these. On most trucks, you'll have a single diff lock and it'll lock out the front axle. Thus, for those of you chaining up in the wintertime, that's why they often recommend that you put the chains on the front axle because that's where the diff lock is and you put a chain on each wheel and therefore both wheels will grind away and move the vehicle forward over the ice and snow or whichever or mud or whatever compromised traction conditions you're in. So that's the diff lock. Now, 
as you can see here in the image, some of the western stars will have a diff lock for each axle. And there'll be two switches on the dash, one for each axle, and then they'll have an interaxle diff lock as well. So it'll lock it across both these, both axles, and then it'll lock it between axles. So all four tires, all four sets of tires on the back of the big truck are grinding away at the same rate and will not have differential speeds as you're going around the corners. Now, for my friend David who left the diff lock on and drove at highway speeds, which is not recommended in big trucks, it's unlikely that you did the damage to the hub bolts because you left the diff lock on. Unless you're uh, going around sharp corners and on concrete and asphalt and those types of things, it's really unlikely in one-off event that you're going to do any damage to the hub bolts on the back of the axles and those types of things. Because essentially what you're going to do is you're going to lock all of this out and as long as you're not shocking the drive chain, you're just going to wear the tires out a little bit is essentially all you're going to do. You're not going to do damage to hubs and those types of things is exactly what the mechanic told you that it's not what caused the damage to the hub bolts on your truck. It was probably something else that happened. So that's essentially a differential. Those are the differential locks that you have on big trucks for purposes of traction and going at slow speeds. Now the other thing about diff locks and the warning on most trucks is, is that you want to stop the truck or be going at a very slow speed in a straight line when you engage and disengage the diff lock. You don't want to be traveling at speed and then engage it because these gears in here essentially what you're doing is locking them up. So you don't want to be locking them up when the vehicle is at speed or turning and the two wheels are traveling at different speeds so try and go at a slow speed and put the differential lock on or disengage it when you're doing that question for my smart drivers have you left the differential lock on and had it cause damage leave a comment down in the comment section there all that helps out the new drivers coming into the industry and starting a career as a truck or bus driver i'm rick with smart drive test thanks very much for watching if you like what you see here share subscribe leave a comment down in the comment section as well hit that thumbs up button check out all the videos here on the channel if you're working towards a license or starting a career as a truck or bus driver lots of great information here as well head over to my website good information over there and great online courses that you can purchase thanks again for watching good luck on your license and remember pick the best answer not necessarily the right answer have a great day bye now so there's a duck and a goose and the duck says to the goose do you differential and the goose says differential do i Diff, 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 diff. Differential. And that's the story of the duck, the goose, and the differential.